Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Just My Two Cents. I'm super excited to be coming back to you all today with another video. So before we get started, make sure that you go ahead and like this video. And if you haven't already, make sure that you go ahead and you subscribe and turn on the notifications so that anytime a new video drops, you can be informed. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. So today's video, we'll be looking at the iPhone 12 series that is currently available as part of Consumer Cellular's smartphone devices. So if you have been eyeing that new iPhone 12 series and you're trying to get them at an affordable rate and not necessarily pay all that amount of money at the very beginning, Consumer Cellular has something for you. So Consumer Cellular does have every model of the iPhone 12. They have the iPhone 12, the iPhone 12 Pro, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and they have the iPhone 12 mini. So let's go ahead and do a deeper dive into some of the available colors, available sizes, and the prices of these devices. With the iPhone 12, it comes in the color black, white, red, blue, and the green color. It comes in the sizes of 64 gigabytes, 128 gigabytes, and 256 gigabytes. You do have the option of getting it factory new, or you can get a refurbished one. Now, if you're interested in this phone, you can make a one-time payment of $830, and that does not include any taxes or fees, so please keep that in mind. Or if you're looking to do a payment plan with their easy pay plan, you can put $60 down on the phone. That does not include any type of taxes or fees. And after you put that down, you will be paying $35 monthly for 22 months, or you can pay the phone off early. They do have that option, but please keep in mind that this will be added on to your bill. So let's say you pay $55 a month, so they'll just add $35 in addition. And you will need to make sure that you have a car on file because it's not like with your normal type of um, monthly bill where you can sign on every month and pay it, what you will have to do is have a car on file so they can automatically withdraw that money from your account. So please keep that in mind if you are interested in easy pay. Now, if you're interested in the iPhone 12 Pro, they do have the colors gray, gold, and that green color. And the sizes that they have for you to choose from includes 128 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes and they do have the option for you to get it brand new or you can get it refurbished as well now if you're interested in this phone you can either do a one-time payment of a thousand dollars or you can do a payment plan with their easy pay and do an 80 dollars down payment and pay 40 dollars a month for 23 months so if you're interested in the iphone 12 max they do have it in the gray color the gold color as well as the green bluish color they have it in the sizes of 128 gigabytes 256 gigabytes and 512 gigabytes you do have the option of getting it factory new or you can get a refurbished one now if you're interested in this phone you can do a one-time payment of about 1100 dollars or if you're interested in their payment plan with easy pay, you can pay $140 upfront and then you can pay $40 installments for the next 24 months. Now, if you're interested in the iPhone 12 mini, they do have it in the colors of black, red, blue, and the green color. They also have it in the sizes of 64 gigabytes, 128 gigabytes, and 256 gigabytes. You do have the option of getting it factory new or you can get a refurbished one. Now, if you're interested in this phone, you can do a one-time payment of $730 or you can choose their payment plan option with Easy Pay and pay $30 down and pay $35 a month for about 20 months. So I also want to let you all know that the numbers that you see on the website do not include any taxes or fees. However, taxes and fees will be added to your purchases. So I do want you all to be aware of that. So for instance, if you are making a one-time payment for your phone, you will pay taxes and fees at one time. However, if you're doing a payment plan, the only time you will pay taxes and fees when you're signing up for that initial payment plan. So for instance, if you're paying for a phone for a down payment of let's say $40, then make sure that you understand you'll be paying taxes and fees at one time when you're signing up for the payment plan. However, afterwards, it will be those regular $35 payments. So 
If you're making a straight out purchase, taxes and fees one time. If you're doing a payment plan, the only time you pay taxes and fees is the one time when you're signing up when you're paying down that down payment. So I do want you all to, you know, kind of know that and be aware of that when you're going into this situation. Now, also another thing that you will see on the website is that the colors and the storage with the different colors, they come and go out of stock. My best advice for you all would be to just check the website daily or to check it weekly until you see the phone that you want and to try to make sure that you kind of have some of the funds ready because they kind of go really fast on Consumer Cellular's website, which was a surprise to me. But if you know that you want a phone and when you see that phone, you want to make sure that you have it because the colors and the storage stocks, they go in and out of stock so fast that you don't want to miss it um, because you really want that phone. And I don't want you to pay all this money for a phone that you don't necessarily, you know, want or you don't like the color or you don't like the amount of storage that it has because you want to make sure that you're getting the right phone for yourself. Now, if you are interested in shipping, make sure that you understand that Consumer Cellular offers two types of shipping so you can get standard shipping which is free which is about five to seven business days however i will say that that's pretty standard five to seven business days but sometimes you'll get your phone within like three days i know that because when i signed up for consumer cellular they told me that i would get like my sims card in five to seven business days and i think i got it like three days later but that's just like their standard you know thing that they have to tell people so people won't be calling them like it's been you know two days and i haven't gotten my stuff so to kind of give them some leeway. They also have an express shipping, which you can pay about $10 extra. Um, and that's about one to two days of shipping. And usually your item will ship the same day if you order about 1 p.m. And uh, recently when I used this service, my um, phone shipped out the same day. Matter of fact, it came um, about 12 o'clock the next day. So I think I ordered it that Friday and that Saturday it came. And so... If you are looking for your phone to come that fast, they do have the option as well, but they do like to quote people that one to two day um, type of shipping frame. You might be saying, well, why should I order from Consumer Cellular instead of Apple? I would say that you are better off going through Consumer Cellular if you are already a Consumer Cellular customer simply because it's the same phone, but you have a payment plan option. To be completely honest with you all, Apple products are expensive. Apple products are expensive, but you know that you're getting the quality. And most people, they want that quality, but they don't necessarily have the money to go out and just drop a $1,000 on a new phone. And, you know, a lot of people have been holding off for years trying to not upgrade from their six or their seven, because even though the phone is slowing down, they don't want to pay all that money. So, a lot of people are looking for different options to be able to afford that same great quality that they have in their iPhone 6 or their iPhone 7, but maybe not willing to pay that price. And so with Consumer Cellular, you do get that option of being able to get an updated phone with a lot of good specs and features that they are offering on these newer devices. However, they're putting it at a price where you're able to go ahead and get it at an affordable rate. So, you know, you can get... um you know, an iPhone Pro Max, pay $140 for a down payment, pay about $40 a month, which for most people that is affordable rather than going out and dropping a thousand dollars. Like I said, they already have checked your credit because you had to have a soft credit check in order for you to get consumer cellular. And so you have to have a car on file. So that takes some of the hassle out of it too. So why not go through them and just pay it off that way? Even if you do have it, you know, times might be a little bit more difficult. So you might just pay, you know, $500 here and then just kind of, you know, louse it out or what, whatever might work for you. So that's why I think um, it's probably a little bit more feasible for you to get it from Consumer Sailor rather than Apple. Like it still comes in the Apple box. You still get that same feel. It's the same phone. And also another great part is that you know that it works with Consumer Sailor. Sometimes people bring devices over to these different networks and the phones, they don't work because the phone is either locked 
through another carrier or not only is it locked through another carrier or the phone is it compatible or what have you i think most phones with them are compatible but you if you buy it from them you know it will work from them because you have bought it from them so that's one of the reasons that i think that you would probably want to get it from consumer cellular rather than apple i mean i know i like going in the apple store but when it comes to my phones and stuff um that do it like data and things of that nature i try to get it from the people who i have the service with um and so that's kind of like a pro tip for you all so as always i want to encourage you all to go and check out consumer cellular's website for more information about these devices about their payment plan options feel free to you know chat with the people or either call them to get some more information about this and if you don't see a device or a storage amount that you want continue to check their website. You might be able to call and they might be able to give you um, some insight as to when they might have that particular color in or that um, amount of storage in on that particular phone. So just call and check um, and just go out and do your own research. But hopefully this has given you um, a good place to start. If you like the video, make sure that you go ahead and you smash the like button, please. Make sure that you comment below, you share the video, and that you subscribe if you already haven't. And until next time, make sure that you continue to peace.